We're joined now by Rob Boyle. He is the executive director of the Furniture Bank Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan, where they provide uh, has supported more than 65,000 vulnerable families across Metro Detroit, providing them with beds and essential home furniture and helping them live with stability and dignity. Rob, thanks for being with us today. Hey, Tyler, it's great to be with you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate having you on. So tell us a little bit about the origins of this organization and the work that they do uh, week by week, month by month, year by year here in southeastern Michigan. Well, well we were actually founded uh, here in Pontiac uh, in 1968. Um, there's about 200 furniture banks across North America. And to my knowledge, we are the oldest of them all. Um, we, we take in donations of gently used beds, dressers, sofas, um, and dining sets and other essentials. And then on the other end, we take in referrals from a network of about 75 uh, health and human service providers. So we're providing furniture to families who are transitioning from homelessness and poverty, working with child protective services, fleeing crisis or abuse. Um, these days, we're helping folks who've been flooded out of their homes, as well as people who have helped uh, the United States in Afghanistan that are now relocating here to the, the states. Um, you know, on an annual basis, uh, we're helping about 2,000 families a year, distributing somewhere around 15,000 items. Uh, so, and, and yes, we've been at it for a little while, so we're at about 65,000 families and counting. We're joined by Rob Boyle, the executive director of the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. You can learn more information about them at furniture-bank.org. That is their website. You can learn more information there about all the work that they're doing and how you can help them provide uh, that the, those services to children and families in our communities here in southeastern Michigan, where in 2020, the Furniture Bank of southeastern Michigan provided uh, improved the lives of 2,183 uh, Metro Detroit families, providing them with uh, over well, nearly 15,000 items uh, at a value of about $747,595. So, um, so Rob, how do you collect these items? Are these all entirely through donations from people and from organizations? Or are you going out and seeking these materials? How do you bring them all in? Because to provide 2,000 plus families, 2,000 plus people with these necessary, with these necessities, that's going to take a lot of different materials. You know, if it were just me, my back would be extremely sore. That's for sure. Uh, however, we have a, a couple of trucks that are on the road six days a week. Um, we have a pickup service. Uh, we come to folks' homes. We'll even take furniture outside. Uh, for them so so they don't bump their moldings or hurt their backs. Um, you know, we, we raise a little bit of money. I mean, we have services to help, you know, our furniture donors remove heavy items out of their homes, um, and that helps support our mission. Um, but if you call our number 248-332-1300, or if you go to the website, Tyler, that you just mentioned, www.furniture-bank.org, you can find out how to schedule a donation. And we do our best to make donating easy because we want to make sure that kids have a warm bed to sleep in at night and they're not sleeping on the floor. We, we want to make sure that families um, uh, have a table to share a meal on or uh, a parent can help their child with their homework on a table. You know, we, we want people to live uh, with the stability and dignity that many of us take for granted. You know, you could have the nicest home in West Bloomfield or in Gross Point where I happen to live, um, but if you don't have any furniture in it and you're sleeping on a floor and you're living on a floor and you're eating on a floor, you're gonna be stressed. It's it's a very difficult life. Uh, and, and we just wanna make sure that a lot of our neighbors here in Metro Detroit, you know, can live with the basic stability and dignity that, you know, you and I have come to, to take for granted. We're joined by Rob Boyle. He is the executive director of the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. With us on the Megacast, you can learn more information again on their website, furniture-bank.org. And, and uh, Rob, what are some of those items that um, are always needed by your organization to provide the, these families and, and in what condition uh, and, and in what capacity should people across our, st our state, especially here in our local area, go about donating those items? So our, so our pickups are mainly in uh, Oakland, Macomb and Wayne County. Um, we we do cover just about all of Oakland County, which as I know where your viewers are. Um, but, you know, we do take donations of gently used beds 
and and we are one of the few organizations to do that. And on any given year, we'll give out you know anywhere between 2,000 and 2,500 beds to to folks um, who would otherwise maybe sleeping on a floor. Um, and you know of those. 2,000 or 2,500, somewhere around 1,000 of those on most years go out to kids. So um, donating a bed, uh, twin, full, queen, mattress, box spring, um, we absolutely need those. We always need those. Um, dining sets, you know, a dining table, four chairs, um, a sofa, living room furniture, end tables, coffee tables. I mean, basically, if you think for a moment and you lost everything in a fire and you had to start all over, um, what would you need? What are the basics? What would you uh, want to just reestablish your life? You know, many of the families that we're serving, um, you know, they've they've been in homeless shelters for a good period of time, and and that's very stressful, and they're looking forward to having a home of their own. And when they go in, they realize that if they don't have any furniture they're not that much better off. And, and we wanna make sure that families are better off. We wanna make sure that parents are getting a healthy night's rest so they can support their kids and their kids are getting a healthy night's rest so they can do well in school. So again, if, if folks call 248-332-1300 or go to www.furniture-bank.org, um, they can find out about making a donation. And we ask that things um, are in good condition, or as we like to say, gently used. Um, you know, we're not able to accept beds that are stained or torn, or or you know, or furniture that is structurally damaged or torn or stained, or you know, if uh, Fido or Tabby have uh, <laughs> had a little bit too good a time on the furniture, unfortunately, we're we're not able to accept that either. But if it's in good condition. We absolutely need it for local families because we have a lot of folks coming to our doors. We're joined by Rob Boyle. He is the executive director of the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. Joining us on the Megacast, again, their website, furniture-bank.org, if you want to learn more information or uh, set up a donation with them as well. And then, uh, Rob, you have an upcoming uh, fundraiser on November 4th at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak. Tell us a little bit about that event and how it's going to uh, benefit your organization. That, that's our comedy night fundraiser. Uh, this will be the 11th year that we've held it. Um, it's actually, uh, we did not have it last year for, uh, for the COVID reasons, um, but we're thrilled to be back at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle on Thursday, November 4th. Um, and the, it starts at about six o'clock with uh, some dinner. And then um, after that, you, you, you have uh, the, the pleasure of sit, sitting and listening to or, or experiencing, experiencing, excuse me, some first rate comedians. Um, and this year we've got a gentleman, Rocky Laporte, second time he's been with us. Um, and, and he is remarkably funny. He was a finalist on Last Comic Standing a few years back and uh, just a really talented guy. And we're, we're really fortunate to have him. Uh, tickets are uh, $60 each, and you can actually find them uh, at our website, www.furniture-bank.org. We're joined by Rob Boyle. He is the executive director of the Furniture Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. Joining us on the Megacast, that event again uh, at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle on November 4th, 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. Tickets are $75 each and can be purchased online uh, at the Furniture Bank's website, furniture-bank.org, or by calling the Furniture Bank at 248-332-332. 1300 that is 248 332 1300 extension 206 another way you can get tickets and learn more information is by sending an email to events at furniture-bank.org and so uh, rob at this point in time right now uh, at this point in the year given that you are uh, approaching the end of the, the end of the year and and they're still providing these materials to families right now what is the most important item or items of need uh, for donation to your organization to continue to provide these services to, to children and to families in our local area? 
You know, you know, Tyler, as I said, uh, we always need beds. For some strange reason, we've always been, or as of late, we've been short on dressers. If anybody has dressers in good condition, um, you know, please uh, give us a call or go to our website because we have families that absolutely need them. Um, I will say right now, we're still a little busy, so we're scheduling about three weeks out. Um, I think it's important to let your viewers know that sometimes it, it takes a couple of weeks before we can come out, but we absolutely need these items and there are absolutely families that need these items. You know, um, the, the eviction moratorium uh, that was going on for well over a year is now expired. Um, we've had a lot of folks here in Metro Detroit who've been flooded out. And, and as I mentioned, we're trying to resettle people who helped us uh, when we were in Afghanistan. And, and for these reasons and just general poverty that still exists in our region, there are a lot of folks coming to us and they're referred by agencies that are trying to help them in other ways. Um, so yes, dressers, beds, dining sets, um, sofas, um, just the basics, because we want families to live with stability and dignity. Um, and and it's really, really important that they have a house that they can feel good about or a home that they can feel good about. You can learn more information and donate to the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan by visiting their website at furniture-bank.org. Uh, we're joined by Rob Boyle, the executive director of the Furniture Bank of Southeastern Michigan. And Rob, just a few more minutes with you before we'll say goodbye today. Sure. Any other information at this moment in time that would be important for our audience to know or uh, anything else that would be interesting that may be coming up in the future that our audience should be keeping an eye out from, uh, for from your organization? You know, we always want to help more families. Um, you know, th th we help about 2,200 families a year, and that really doesn't even scratch the surface of need that exists here in Metro Detroit. You know, we could really easily double that number or even triple that number. So, so it's our hope that we can continue to grow over the years. Um, between the, the years of 2014 and 2019, we've doubled the number of families that we serve on an annual basis. And, um, you know, maybe within the next five years, we're gonna be able to double that again. And, it, and again, it's, it's critically important that folks have a home that they can feel good about, that they can feel rested in. So, you know, like everybody else, they have a, a chance at success in life. And, and that's really, really important. Rob, we appreciate your time. Thanks for telling us more about your organization and uh, previewing that fundraising event coming up on November 4th at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak. Tyler, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much.